सो हाई गाइज वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एक्वा स्टेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू ग्रो ऑस्कोर फिश इन अ फर्स्टर वे सो द ऑस्कोर फिश इज एन पॉपुलर ट्रॉपिकल फ्रेश वाटर फिश दैट स्केम फ्रॉम द एमेजन बेसिन ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका देयर पॉपुलरिटी इज लर्जली ड्यू टू देयर इंटेलिजेंस लेवल देयर प्लेफुल बिहेवियर एंड देयर ब्यूटिफुल कलरिंग सो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज टेम्परेचर रेगुलेशन सो वाटर टेम्परेचर डायरेक्टली इन्फ्लुएंस डाइजेशन मेटाबोलिज्म कैन केमिकल नेसेसरी फॉर प्रॉपर बॉडी फंक्शनिंग डू कीप वाटर टेम्परेचर विद इन ऑस्कोड प्रेफर्ड रेंट विच इज 23 थ्री टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इफ पॉसिबल कीप दम अबाव ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एज लोअर लिमिट ऑफ एटीन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इज ट्रिपिकली एक्सपीरियंट ड्यूरिंग विंटर एंड रिजल्ट इन डिक्रीज मेटाबोलिज्म एंड एक्टिविटी एंड दस डिक्रीज ग्रोथ and the second point is choose the right food so there are specific food on the market designed to make your oscar grow larger using these dry foods in combination with fresh or frozen live food such as shrimp and bloodworm will cause enormous weight gain and the third point is provide quality nutrition oscar fish are omnivorous and in the wild they mostly fed on insects and plants matter so you should try to match this diet to feed oscar in your aquarium providing a balanced diet is very important for healthy oscar fish if your oscar doesn't get a properly balanced diet that it can lead to disease oscar fish diet mostly consists of meaty food so in your aquarium you should mostly feed high quality cichlids flakes and pellets to your oscar fish the flakes and pellets should be of high quality and contain a good amount of protein you should go for a cichlid pellets and flakes as it contain a high amount of protein flakes and pellets come in different size as you should choose it accordingly to the size of your oscar fish you have so if you have a baby oscar fish below 4 inches long then you should go for a small pellets if your oscar fish is about 5 to 10 inches then you should go for medium size pellets and if your oscar fish is more than 10 inches then you should go for a large pellets and the fourth point is don't overstock your fish tank or aquarium so over stock fish tank or aquarium experienced as much as 20% lesser growth per fish and increased mortality having fish can become sort of an addiction as it wonderful to watch them grow and interact to play around with the spawn setup however stick to the general rule of having only 1 inch of fish per square foot of the tank and keep in mind that fish grow so if you are purchasing a 2 inches oscar fry remember that it will likely grow to around 10 inches or more in length by the time it reach adulthood your calculation should utilize adult fish size not the size that they are when you purchase them and the fifth point is optimized your feeding schedule so keeping your oscar on a set feeding schedule will help you to not only maximize their growth but better monitor how much they are eating and their overall health try to feed them 3 to 4 times per day as oscar don't have overly efficient digestive system so smaller meal will be easier for them to process and ensure that all necessary nutrients are being properly absorbed and utilized by your oscar fish body make sure that this feedings occur at the same time each day and only feed them as much as they will eat within 5 minutes afterwards clean out any excess food that hasn't been eaten from the tank to ensure healthy water quality and prevent your oscar from eating old food later on this kid will will also build trust between you and your oscar as they will come to not only recognize you but associate you with food particularly if you stick around while they are eating building trust and bonding with your oscar will help them to feed safer and more comfortable and may influence growth as it related to mental as well as physical well-being and the sixth point is maximize water quality 
when water quality is properly balanced to suit oscar they will be healthiest thus more likely to grow quickly and keep temperature within the range listed before the ph should be maintained between 7.5 to 8.0 and make sure that there is no ammonia nitrites and nitrate as these are known to hinder growth and can lead to various illness so water changes should be conducted once per week in which 10 to 20% of the water should be changed out and replaced with fresh water to help to remove pollutant waste and reduce the amount of ammonia nitrates and nitrite that are present in the water and the number 7th point is tank cleaning with the increase in food intake there is bound to be additional output your oscar will dirty the tank quite often in order to keep the aquarium environment balanced with healthy bacteria make sure not to complete a water change too often and the number 8 point is tank size requirement and tank mates so oscar typically grow about 10 inches long in captivity the minimum tank size recommended for a single oscar is about 55 gallons ideally however a 75 gallon tank is best for one adult oscars and if you plan to keep more than one then you will need a tank of at least 10 gallons in capacity in addition to supplying your oscar with the right tank size and you also need to cultivate the right tank condition so the recommended tank mates for oscar fish don't buy any fish that is small enough to fit into your oscar's mouth avoid fish that are very timid or shy the oscar may chase them around the tank causing them stress so consider bottom dwelling fish that will stay out of your oscar's way so let's talk about the conclusion so oscar growth rates are totally dependent on the condition they are kept in and the amount of high quality food they receive oscar kept in a crowded aquarium and only fed dry prepared food will not thrive So let's talk about the water condition. So Oscar can tolerate many different water conditions such as hot, soft, acidic or alkaline, but they won't tolerate water with ammonia in it or low oxygen level caused by pollution. So let's talk about water temperature. The water temperature for fry and younger fish can be higher than for adult. So these are all information regarding how to grow Oscar fish faster. I hope this video will help you. More videos are coming soon so please stay tuned to my channel